Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. And today we're gonna go over how to repair the C-clip that's found on most heat exchange and double boiler espresso machines by Lelite. It's a pretty simple fix. Uh, we do notice this sometimes happens on the Lelite Mara. Uh, has not yet happened on the Bianca yet with this machine that we've been using uh, for approximately now 18 months. Uh, but we do have it off here. Uh, you do have to take the cap off. And this one's a little more difficult. We have this one off already. But just to show you uh, for the repair, just get a little screwdriver wedged in here. And sometimes they're exposed, uh, depending on the uh, steam knob that you have. And inside here, we have a C-clip. And there's some washers behind it. So we're gonna show you how to uh, remove the C-clip. Sometimes that C-clip pops off, you could put it back on. Sometimes you need a new one. Show you how to remove it and we'll show you how to put it back on. Okay, to take the C-clip out, you would push up with a flathead screwdriver and basically just keep on pushing. And there's a little slot in here to actually pull the C-clip out. Again, sometimes this will uh, break off if there's too much force exerted on the way out. Um, and that basically um, will break or sometimes it won't break and can be reinserted. And then as you can see here, here's your stem, here's your steam knob, which we'll put back in. And you can have anywhere between five and six washers. And basically to put this back in, you have that little slot in there for the C-clip, uh, but it's kind of hard to line up. So a little trick is to bring out the knob so the washer is right behind the little slot there. So you can put the C-clip in on its Let's get a little more in there. Okay. And then it kind of slides in. Take a screwdriver and push into the slot. Okay, so you want this washer, so when you uh, in a position with the rotation of the knob, so that slot is the same as the C-clip that gets pushed in. Put it in by hand and then push in with the screwdriver and it clicks in. Now, as you can see, you don't want to also tighten these knobs uh, till they stop. If you look, they're loosey-goosey, and that's when the steam valve is typically closed. These are non-compression. So non-compression, you can actually damage it by turning, constantly turning the knobs tight. So you want to turn it till the steam stops. Then this pushes out when you open it up, and then steam will come out. Uh, just a warning, which I should have said in the beginning, is only work on this when the machine is cold and there is no steam, because you don't want to burn yourself. Last step is to, if you have a cap on the steam knob, some of them don't have caps, some of them do, just push that back into place, push it in. The Bianca actually has a washer uh, that's in there, and that same thing, just push it in, and that slides in. It's actually harder to get out than to push them in. And we hope you enjoyed this video on how to repair the steam valve when the C-clip pops out or it does break. Uh, this is pretty simple once it's now shown on the video here. Thank you for watching and please give us a thumbs up below. Uh, subscribe to us on that side. And if you have any questions, also ask them below. We'll be happy and obliged to uh, help you with the answers to those questions. Thanks and have a great day. Coffee first everything else afterwards.